Well, let me be the first to congratulate you on completing Reading Lab, the online course. And in this last video together, I just want to recap everything that we've learned this semester. I feel like we've made great progress. And I just want to bring to mind one last time what we've covered in our time together. First of all, and maybe most importantly, we've learned to navigate an online course. For some of you, this was your first experience with online courses. And so I hope that it has given you the confidence that you need to take many more with Carl Albert State College. Then we began working on our vocabulary. We know that a, a strong vocabulary is the mark of a good reader and a good writer. And so we spent some time developing our vocabulary skills through developing comprehension clues or recognizing comprehension clues. Uh, you'll remember that maybe we don't know what a word means, but if we know what part of that word means, we can make a pretty good guess. And so we looked at prefixes and suffixes and root words. We also looked at author's hints and figurative language to find that some of, sometimes we can gather a clue from those techniques and skills. We also developed study skills like cue cards and an AB list and Quizlet, ways that will help us to study for vocabulary tests and words. And then I tucked uh, words, vocabulary words, in each of modules two, three, and four, just to help you become familiar with some words that I feel like you're going to hear on a, on a weekly basis in your academic studies. In module three, we turned our attention to topics and main ideas. And you remember that a topic is simply a title. What you're reading about, just a one to two word answer uh, that, that could be used as a title. And then the main idea must always be stated in a complete sentence. So that will help you when you're taking these standardized assessments. If they're asking for a title or asking for a topic, make sure that it's just a few words. If they're asking for the main idea, make sure that it's clearly stated in sentence form. In module four, we shifted our attention to reading strategies like SQ3R, and you'll remember that that stands for a survey, question, read, recite, and review. And it's just a strategy to help you understand and comprehend what you're reading as you read it. A second strategy we looked at was highlighting and annotating. And you'll remember that the two have to work together. If you simply highlight, you will not comprehend. You must engage your mind, forcing it to annotate as well. Making notes, circling unfamiliar words, uh, Googling information that you feel like may be lacking so that you're actually interacting with the text itself. And then finally, we looked at outlining. And outlining is, is frequently thought of as a writing technique, but it's also a reading technique where we're trying to get inside the mind of the writer to determine what he or she was thinking when they wrote this article or chapter. In module five, we, we finished strong with credible sources. And we looked at the ABCDs, how do we determine that a source is credible, uh, things like the author, the bias, the currency, the domain, the date. We tried to make sure that we uh, understood what a credible source looks like. And we recognized those in the Carl Albert State College Library database. Then we talked about um, plagiarism and how serious of an offense that can be. And so we now know what it is, what it looks like, how teachers find it, and how we can avoid it through quoting and paraphrasing and summarizing and always making sure that we cite our sources properly. Then we finished that module with a reading to writing exercise on exonerated prisoners, which did count for your final for this class. And I hope you had fun uh, learning about these individuals, I don't know that I would consider it fun, but maybe it was very informative what you learned uh, about these prisoners who have done time for crimes that they did not commit. Uh, by the way, that's an excellent topic for speech class, for comp two, when you're asked to write about an informative topic or a persuasive topic, you may be able to use the information from your exonerated prisoner uh, report that you wrote from me. So when I look back over the course itself, I think we accomplished a lot for a one credit hour class. You did well. I've enjoyed teaching this class. I've enjoyed making videos for you and reading your uh, assignments. I hope that you have had fun learning. I want to wish you the very best in your studies at Carl Albert. And if there's ever a time that I can be of assistance to you, please don't hesitate to call. I wish you the best. Uh, I, I hope that you will keep reading, keep learning new words, and make it your goal to be a lifelong learner.